to Story Ask, where you can learn to speak English by listening to stories. Today's story: making breakfast. Vocabulary: at home, at home, at home. Alone. Together. Alone. 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 Some milk. Some milk. Some milk. Cornflakes. 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 Poor. 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 A bowl. A bowl. A bowl. An apple. An apple. An apple. A banana. A banana. A banana. A pear. A pear. A pear. A peach. A peach. A peach. Cut up. Cut up. Cut up. Taste. 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 A bit. A bit. A bit. A spoon. A spoon. A spoon. Now you listen, watch me, and you mime with me. At home, alone, some milk, cornflakes. Poor. A bowl. An apple. A banana. A pear. A peach. Cut up. Taste a bit, a spoon,
Now you listen and you mine. At home. Alone. Some milk. Cornflakes. Poor. A bowl. An apple, a banana, a pear and a peach. Cut up. Taste. A bit. A spoon. Now you watch me and you think or say the word. At home. Alone. Some milk. Cornflakes. Poor. A bowl. An apple, a banana, a pear and a peach. Cut up. Taste. A bit. A spoon. Now you listen to the story and understand. You are at home alone. You are very hungry. You take some milk from the fridge. You 
find some cornflakes. You pour the cornflakes into a bowl. You get an apple, a banana, a pear and a peach. You cut up the fruit. Taste a bit of everything. Get a spoon. Sit down to eat. You no longer feel hungry. You pick up the bowl and put it in the fridge. Now you listen and you mime. You are at home alone. You are very hungry. You take some milk from the fridge. You find some cornflakes. You pour the cornflakes into a bowl. You get an apple, a banana, a pear and a peach. You cut the fruit up. Taste a bit of everything. Get a spoon. Sit down to eat. You no longer feel hungry. You pick up the bowl and put it in the fridge. Now watch me 
and you think or say the story. Now listen to the story one more time. You are at home alone. You feel hungry. You take some milk from the fridge. You find some cornflakes. You pour the cornflakes into a bowl. You get an apple, a banana, a pear and a peach. You cut the fruit up. Taste a bit of everything. Get a spoon. Sit down to eat. You no longer feel hungry. You pick up the bowl and put it in the fridge. So you are at home alone. So question, are you at home alone? Yes, you are at home alone. Are you at home with somebody? No, you are not at home with somebody. You are at home alone with nobody. Are you at home in company? No, you are not in company at home because you are at home alone. There is nobody in your house. So are you at home with somebody or are you at home alone. Who is at home with you? Well, nobody. Your mother has gone shopping. Your sister is at school. Your father is at work, you are at home alone.
You are very hungry. You want to eat. So, question: Are you very hungry? Yes, you are very hungry. You really want to eat. Are you very thirsty? Do you want to drink something? Well, no, you are not very thirsty. You are. Very hungry. You don't want to drink. You want to eat. Are you very angry? No, you are not very angry. You are very hungry. Not angry, but hungry. So, are you very angry, or are you very thirsty, or are you very hungry? How do you feel? Well, you don't feel very thirsty, and you don't feel very angry. You feel very. Hungry. You want to eat something. So, what are you going to do? Well, you are going to look for something to eat because you are hungry. You take some milk from the fridge. So, question: Do you take some milk from the fridge? Yes, you take some milk from the fridge. Do you take? Some orange juice from the cupboard. No, you don't take some orange juice from a cupboard. No, no, you take some fresh milk from the fridge. Do you take some? UHT milk from the fridge. No, you don't take UHT milk from the fridge. You take fresh milk from the fridge. So, do you take? Some UHT milk from the fridge, or do you take some orange juice from a cupboard, or do you take some fresh milk from the fridge? What do you take? Well, you don't take some UHT milk, and you don't take some orange juice. You take. Some fresh milk from the fridge. So, do I take some fresh milk from the fridge, or do you take some fresh milk from the fridge? Who takes some fresh milk from the fridge? Well. I don't take some fresh milk from the fridge. You do. You take some fresh milk from the fridge. And why? 
Why? Why do you take some fresh milk from the fridge? Why? Well, because you are hungry. You want to eat something. You find some cornflakes. You find some cornflakes to eat. Do you find some cornflakes? Yes, you find some cornflakes. Do you find some shredded wheat? No, you don't find any shredded wheat. You find some cornflakes. What about porridge? Do you find some porridge? No, you don't find any porridge. And anyway, you don't like porridge. And you don't like shredded wheat. You like cornflakes. So do you find some shredded wheat? Or do you find some puffed wheat? Or do you find some porridge? Or do you find some Rice Krispies? Or some cornflakes? What do you find in the kitchen? You don't find any shredded wheat. And you don't find any porridge. Or puffed wheat. Or Rice Krispies. You find some cornflakes. And you like cornflakes. So do, so do I find the cornflakes? Do you find the cornflakes? Does your dog woof, woof, find the cornflakes? Who finds the cornflakes? I don't find the cornflakes. Your dog doesn't find the cornflakes. You do. You find the cornflakes. <clears throat> you pour, you pour the cornflakes into a bowl. You pour the cornflakes into a bowl. Do you pour the cornflakes into a bowl? Yes. You pour the cornflakes into a bowl. Do you pour the cornflakes onto a plate? Onto a plate. Do you pour the cornflakes onto a plate? No, you don't pour the cornflakes onto a plate. You pour the cornflakes into a bowl. Do you pour the cornflakes into a glass? No, you don't. You don't pour the cornflakes into a glass. You pour the cornflakes into a bowl, not a glass. And not a plate, but into a bowl. So do you pour the cornflakes into a bowl? Or do you pour the cornflakes onto a plate? Or do you pour the cornflakes into a glass? Where do you pour the cornflakes? You don't pour the cornflakes into a glass. And you don't pour them onto a plate. You pour them into a bowl. You pour the cornflakes, you pour them into a bowl. And what else do you pour into the bowl? What else? 
What else do you pour into the bowl? Only the cornflakes or something else? What else do you pour into the bowl? Well, you also pour some milk into the bowl with the cornflakes. You pour some milk. You get an apple, a banana, a pear and a peach. So question, do you get an apple? Yes, you get an apple. Do you get a kiwi? No, you don't get a kiwi. Do you get an orange? No, you don't. No, you don't get an orange. So do you get an orange or do you get a kiwi? Or do you get an apple? What fruit do you get? What fruit do you get? What fruit do you get? Well, you don't get an orange and you don't get a kiwi, but you do get an apple and you do get a banana and you do get a pear and you do get a peach. So what do you want to do with the fruit. What do you want to do with it? What do you want to do with it? What do you want to do with the apple? Or what are you going to do with the apple? What do you want to do or what are you going to do? with the apple. You are going to peel the apple. You want to peel the apple because you want to eat it with your cornflakes. So Am I going to peel the apple? Do I want to peel the apple? Are you going to peel the apple? Who is going to peel the apple? Who wants to peel the apple? I'm not going to peel the apple. You are going to peel the apple. You want to peel the apple. You cut the fruit up. You cut the fruit up or you cut up the fruit. So question, do you cut the fruit up? Do you cut up the fruit Yes, you cut up the fruit. You cut the fruit up.
do you cut up a cucumber? No, you don't cut up a cucumber. Do you cut up some vegetables? No, you don't cut up some vegetables. You cut up some fruit. So, do you cut up some vegetables? Or do you cut up a cucumber? Or do you cut up the fruit? What do you cut up? What do you cut up? Well, you don't cut up any vegetables and you don't cut up a cucumber. You cut up some fruit. So, how? How do you cut up the fruit? What do you use? Do you use a blender? To cut up the fruit? Or do you use a peeler to cut up the fruit? Well, you don't use a blender and you don't use a peeler to cut up the fruit. You use a sharp knife. You use a sharp knife to cut up the fruit. You taste a bit of everything. A bit of pear, a bit of peach, a bit of banana, and a bit of apple. You taste a bit of everything. Question, do you taste a bit of everything? Yes, you taste a bit of everything. Do you taste a lot of everything? No, you don't taste a lot of everything. You taste a bit, a little bit of everything, not a lot. Do you taste the cornflakes? Well, no, you don't taste the cornflakes. You taste the fruit, not the cornflakes, but the fruit. So, do you taste the cornflakes? Or do you taste a lot of everything? Or do you taste a bit of everything? What do you taste? Well, you don't taste the cornflakes. And you don't taste a lot of everything. You only taste a bit of everything. A little bit of pear, a little bit of peach, a little bit of banana, and a little bit of apple. And what does the banana taste like? What does the banana taste like? Well, the banana tastes overripe. It is overripe. Not unripe. This is unripe and not ripe. This is ripe. It is overripe. Hmm, it's not so good. You get a spoon. You get a spoon to eat. You want to eat the cornflakes with the fruit. So, do you get a spoon? Yes, you get a spoon. Do you get a fork? No, you don't get a fork. You can't eat 
cornflakes with a fork, you need a spoon, not a fork. Do you get the box of cornflakes? No, no. You already got the box of cornflakes and you already poured the cornflakes in the bowl. So you don't get the box of cornflakes, you get the spoon and maybe the bowl, yes, with the cornflakes inside and the milk. So do you get the box of cornflakes or do you get a fork or do you get a spoon? What do you get? Well, you don't get the box of cornflakes and you don't get the fork. You get a spoon. And why? Why do you get a spoon? Well, because you are going to eat the cornflakes. You want to eat the cornflakes. So you sit down to eat. You sit down to eat. You don't stand up, you sit down to eat. So question, do you sit down to eat? Well, yes, you sit down to eat. Do you stand up to eat? No, you don't stand up to eat. You sit down to eat. Do you sit down to drink? Well, maybe, maybe you sit down to drink, but you also sit down to eat. You want to eat the cornflakes. So do you sit down to drink or do you stand up to eat or do you sit down to eat? What do you do? Well, you don't stand up to eat. You sit down to eat and maybe also to drink. So what do you want to eat? And what do you want to drink? Well, you want to eat some cornflakes with some apple, some banana, some pear and a peach cut up into little pieces. And you want to drink a nice cup of coffee. And you want to eat a croissant. This is a croissant here. But you no longer feel hungry mm, because you tasted a bit of everything. So now you no longer feel hungry. So do you not want to eat now? That's correct. Yes, now you don't want to eat. You no longer feel hungry. Did you want to eat? Yes, you did want to eat. You wanted to eat, but now you no longer feel hungry. Now you don't want to eat. Why don't you want to eat? Why not? Why don't you want to eat? You don't want to eat because you already tasted a bit of everything and now you no longer feel hungry. You don't want 
to eat. So you pick up the bowl and put it in the fridge. Question, do you put the bowl in the fridge? Ugh. Yes, you put the bowl in the fridge. Ugh. Do you take the cornflakes out of the bowl? No, you don't take the cornflakes out of the bowl. You pick up the bowl and you put the bowl in the fridge with the cornflakes in the bowl. Is the milk in the bowl with the cornflakes? Is the milk in the bowl with the cornflakes? Well, yes, the milk is in the bowl with the cornflakes. So you put the bowl with the cornflakes and the milk in it in the fridge. And why? Why do you put the bowl with the milk and the cornflakes in it in the fridge? Why? Well, you don't want to throw it away. You don't want to throw it away. You know, there's apple, banana, peach, pear, cornflakes, milk. You don't want to throw it away. But you don't want to eat it now either. Hmm. So what to do? Well, you put it in the fridge. Maybe later you will give it to your dog. Woof woof. <clears throat> so, making breakfast, I will read slowly and then I will read at normal speed. Today you are at home alone. Your mother has gone to work and your sister is at your grandparents. You have just woken up. You are hungry. You take some milk from the fridge and you look for something to eat. Aha! You find some cornflakes. You don't like Weetabix or porridge. You pour the cornflakes and the milk into a large bowl and then you get an apple, an overripe banana, a peach and a pear. You cut the fruit up into little pieces. While you cut up the fruit, you taste a little of everything. You try the apple, then the banana, then the peach, and finally the pear. Mmm, delicious. You love fruit. You go to the kitchen drawer and take out a spoon. You sit down to eat at the kitchen table, but now you no longer feel hungry. You have already eaten too much. You pick up the bowl and put it in the fridge. So what do you do with the bowl next? What do you do with the cornflakes? Do you eat it? Write it in the comments. Okay, I will now read at normal speed. Making breakfast. Today you're at home alone. 
Your mother has gone to work and your sister is at your grandparents. You've just woken up and you're hungry. You take some milk from the fridge and you look for something to eat. Aha! You find some cornflakes. You don't like Weetabix or porridge. You pour the cornflakes and the milk into a large bowl and then you get an apple, an overripe banana, a peach and a pear. You cut the fruit up into little pieces. While you cut up the fruit, you taste a little of everything. You try the apple, then the banana, then the peach, and finally the pear. Mmm, delicious. You love fruit. You go to the kitchen drawer and take out a spoon. You sit down to eat at the kitchen table, but now you no longer feel hungry. You've already eaten too much. You pick up the bowl and put it in the fridge. So what do you do? You know, what happens to the bowl? Who do you give the bowl to? Do you eat it? Does your dog eat it? Who eats it? Does an alien eat it? So that takes us to the end of making breakfast. If you like this lesson, please give me a like. Please subscribe to the channel and click bing on the bell. Thank you all. See you next week.